All right, here's what you need to know. We have a wind chill advisory for much of the Northern Valley. This includes Fargo to Jamestown, uh, out into the Steel area, all the way up to the international border. Dangerous wind chills as we go through the overnight. Here's a look at your hometown temperatures. And we're holding on to above zero readings right now, but just barely so. Taking a look at the Detroit Lakes area, one above seven. In Roseau, though, that's the same reading in Grand Forks Langdon at three degrees. As the cold air has really spilled in. Wadena, the warm spot right now, you have 10 degrees. Wow, double digits. Must be nice. Factor in the winds. They're straight out of the north, tugging this Arctic air mass into place, and the coldest of the air is on its way. The winds, 20, gusting to around 30 miles per hour, and that means wind chills. That'll already be around minus 20 degrees region wide. Minus 10 up in Roseau is about that wind chill index, and as temperatures continue to fall, the wind chills will be even less pleasant outdoors. A little break in the clouds. We enjoyed a beautiful sunset this evening, and a lot of you folks sharing great pictures of those things that happen this time of year called sun dogs. A lot of barking sun dogs in the skies. We'll see more of those with this icy weather on the way. Some snow in the Twin Cities causing a lot of accidents there and some slippery travel. Be careful. South towards Frisco, once you get south of Omaha, things quiet down. But briefly, as there will be a chance for some rain and snow down farther south. More on that in a moment. Right now, your hour by hour forecast shows air temperatures between now and 10 o'clock will be below zero. And as we rise and shine, our forecast model does not do justice to the cold that is actually going to take place. Wind will continue to blow 10 to 20 miles per hour. But where we have that deep pile of snow, just a few miles outside of the uh, doorsteps in Fargo, there's 18 inches of snow. So because of that, I think we're going to see temperatures in Fargo closer to 10 below. And a few spots out there could even dip into the teens to near 20 below by Saturday morning. That's chilly with breaks in the clouds here and there. There'll be a little bit more cloudiness down towards warm Wadena. And you'll be at zero and to start your weekend. Wind chills will be between 20 and 35 below overnight. So very dangerous wind chills out there. Be cautious as you go through the early hours of the day. The temperatures will continue to fall before briefly rising. Most of us spending the day below zero, but a few of us have a shot at zero degree weather. And the best chance will be Fargo and points south and east. We might hit zero or maybe one whole degree. Quickly cooling tomorrow. Tomorrow night, the big difference is the wind dies off. When we get clear skies and calm winds, that'll be the coldest night of the year and season by far. 11 below to start your Saturday morning in Fargo-Moorhead. Four below for your midday hour. No picnic, but if you are going to go on a picnic, use a blanket to cover up, not to sit on. Three below for the afternoon high. The wind's still from the north, northwest, as we go through your hometown forecast. Now a lot of teens below zero. I think that pile of snow that sits just west and north of Fargo-Moorhead We'll have some locations in the afternoon seeing temperatures still near 5 to 10 below. Take a look at this beautiful sun dog. Doug, thank you for sharing a look at that. That's Langdon, field of snow, and those dogs barking, those ice crystals causing beauty in the skies. 20 below on Sunday morning. That's just ear chip and cold out there. We'll have three below for a high. That's cold day. The Vikings will be playing in some cold weather. And the cold takes hold and sticks around. A little bit of relief after a chance of snow Monday. We'll warm up to 12 on Wednesday and then cool back down after that. And your PetroServe USA Road to Frisco forecast getting you through game day tonight into tomorrow morning. Rain and a few flurries of snow between portions of southern Missouri and Texas. 40s for game day with northwest wind. It'll feel cool by Texas standards. Coming home on Sunday, clear sailing. But just remember, the thermometer on your car is going to get mighty cold. Oh, by the way, speaking of cold, on Sunday, 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 a little bit of a wild card contest where the Seahawks from Seattle will be playing in the Twin Cities out of doors, by the way, where the temperature will be two below zero and the wind chills around 20 below. If you happen to have tickets, and I know I've seen Facebook friends that are on the way, I got to tell you, you dress for warmth and in layers. Yes, definitely a lot of layers, but I think the cheering will keep them warm, too. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> jumping up and down. Thank you so much, Hutch. The big announcement of the day, the Bison named their starting quarterback for tomorrow's game. And the Powerball jackpot jumps again. Just how high is it? Coming up next.